name is Nick. This is Outdoors Living. Um, today I thought I'd talk to you about uh, pemmican. Uh, traditionally, pemmican was used by the Native Americans as sort of a journey type food. And it included uh, rendered fat, or what's also known as tallow, mixed with uh, shredded or ground up beef jerky. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a more modern version of it here for you which includes peanut butter as opposed to uh, rendered fat or towel. Now, uh, let me get you situated down here so you can see what we're doing here. Uh, okay. I think you guys can see that. All right. So anyway, what I got here on the table is uh, essentially what I'm going to be using. Uh, now, you can do this out in the, the woods. Uh, you know, all you have to do is take your uh, beef jerky here, and what I used was um, Jack Link's Premium Cuts Original Hickory Smokehouse Beef Jerky. All right? Now, if uh, you make your own beef jerky, you can do that, but essentially what we want to do is we want to take uh, our jerk and we want to shred it or grind it up. And that's what I did here in this bowl. Uh, see that there? So essentially this is all ground up and that's what you want. And to do that what I used was uh, a hand blender here. Uh, it's just a blender that's got a little little blade here and you plug that in and zippity doo you're done. Now, if you don't have one of these, and of course you probably won't have one of these out in the woods, well, I suppose you could take one with you, but it wouldn't really be that helpful. Anyway, uh, what you can do is you can take uh, your knife and you can shred it that way, or you can also take a, a rock and uh, pound it and shred it uh, that way too. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my peanut butter here and I've got uh, several utensils and the reason, you know, you can do this with just uh, one utensil or a stick if need be but, uh, you know, right now I, I have a couple of utensils and I know my wife and my, uh, my daughters probably don't want beef jerky in their, their peanut butter so, you know, I'm trying to accommodate that a little bit but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my peanut butter here and I am going to Scrape it off and just start mixing it into the bowl here. And you don't really have to be exact about this. You know, you just kind of want to get it maybe, you know, one for one, I guess is a fairly, fairly good ratio. But you just kind of get all that mixed in all together. Uh, if I can get it all together. And that's another problem you're, you know, going to run into too when you're doing this. Just, it, you know, it's going to get sticky. It's sort of like working wet flour, uh, like a dough or something like that. So we just keep adding it and adding it until we get uh, the right consistency we want. I'm sorry, I don't know if you can hear my daughter in the, the background there. I just put her down for a nap, and uh, she's not too agreeable on that at the moment. So please apologize, you know, I apologize for that, if you can hear that. Um. <clears throat> Alright. Once we get that all mixed together, you can see what we're getting here. Sort of a goopy mess, but that's all right. That's what we want. All right. Get all that mixed in. Add a little bit more peanut butter here. And this should actually probably do us on the, the amount of peanut butter that we need for this. Yeah, that's definitely more than enough there. Alright, great. 
so now what we're going to do is, um, and this is done as well with uh, traditional style pemmican, uh, we're going to add some uh, uh, dried fruit to it. Now, uh, regular pemmican will pretty much sustain you because it has a uh, high, of course, uh, uh, amount of fat to it, or the tallow. And it's got the jerky, you know, which is your lean meat, so it's got a lot of protein as well. Now, that is pretty well uh, sustainable for you for, uh, you know, length of time. You can, you can eat it. But uh, the problem is, is you're also missing, uh, like, your fruits or your vitamins. You want, like, vitamin C, something like that. So, uh, traditionally, um, they did start adding uh, berries. I, I don't believe it was the Native Americans that did that. I, I think it was actually the, the settlers when they started coming here. They, they really didn't enjoy the Native Americans version of uh, pemmican, so they added a little something to give it some more flavor. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some uh, dried cranberries here to this. And uh, this also is a great source of uh, carbohydrates, which is good because uh, we want to get that in, in there as well. So I'm just going to toss these in with my mix here. And get those mixed in. Alright. And once I get those mixed in, pretty good. It doesn't take that long. What I'm going to do is add a little cayenne pepper. Now you don't have to do this, but I, you know, I like it a little bit spicy. As you can see, I like cayenne pepper, so I've got this big thing of it here. So I'm just going to add, no, oh, I don't know, uh, like a tablespoon or so of it, just to give it a little zip, because I like a little zip in my modern pemmican here. Sweet and spicy. <laughs> all right. Now we've got all that uh, good mixed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little flour. It's just raw flour because I don't want it to be all gloopy like this because that's hard to uh, you know transport whatever. When tallow dries, it actually hardens. So you can get a nice hard, uh, uh, like a ball or a patty or whatever uh, you're making with your, your pemmican here. So what I'm going to use is I'm just going to take flour here and I'm going to mix that in. And what that does is kind of uh, stabilizes the, the pemmican here so I can, uh, you know, uh, form it into sort of like a, uh, a patty or whatever. It makes it less gooey, essentially. And that's what we want. And you're getting a little bit more uh, carbos, probably a insignificant amount, but you know, whatever helps, right? So we'll just keep adding that until we have uh, our uh, stabilized pemmican here. And this is messy, so, you know, kind of got to deal with that. But you'll be able to tell when you get enough because it'll, you know, just like dough, it'll start pulling away from the bowl. And then you'll know that you got enough in there. You don't want to overdo it, but then again, you don't want to underdo it as well. This just makes it easier. Alright. Now, uh, hopefully I'll be able to do a series of these uh, trail foods for you. I'll try to get some uh, traditional style trail foods in there as well, besides, uh, you know, modern stuff. Like, uh, oh, I don't know, hardtack or, um, you know, other, other things of that nature.
And of course, you know, if there's something you want to see, you can let me know and I can uh, try to make it up for you. I'm also going to do some uh, videos here, hopefully out in the, the woods and uh, stuff like that. So today, for my purposes, this is just easier for me here. that's workable now in your hands so you're not going to be leaving a, a big mess. Now what you can do is you can form these into patties or uh, you can keep them in a ball like this. It doesn't really matter. I mean it's all personal preference. Um, you can uh, stick it in your wax paper or if you have wax paper, whatever you got. It doesn't really matter either way. And uh, flatten it out. And there you guys, sort of like a little uh, pemmican burger going for you. Now to uh, store this, uh, you can stick it in plastic uh, little Ziploc bags. That works. Uh, you can also, um, uh, you know, store it in wax paper, whatever you, you got. Now this isn't rendered fat, so you know eventually this is going to spoil, and this isn't meant for uh, long term. So, uh, you know, the, the tallow tends to protect the, the beef jerky from going bad. Uh, beef jerky in itself lasts for quite a while, but tallow lasts uh, pretty much indefinitely. But uh, anyway, just to show you that, uh, you know, I'm not talking out of my, my uh, you know, that, uh, you know, I do like this and I do eat this and I am hungry right now. So, you know, for you that. I enjoy this stuff. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, it's a great trail food if you like that sort of thing. Um, but next time you're going out for you know a jaunt or a trek or what have you, whatever you want to call it, give it a try. You know, it's not too bad. Until then, Until then, I uh, hope that you've enjoyed this uh, video, and I hope to, uh, like I said, make um, a few more for you here in the future. So, anyway, hope you learned something. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, hope to see you next time. Take care.